Willie D Live. I want to leave. Like you said, you told you told a friend that told me. You said D, and you, you said on the show, man, D was a great leader, man. He even though he led us in the wrong way at times, you know. And uh, like I said, I went to prison. And that I kept trying to get him to join the games, I had the fifth ward hit squad. I heard this in the fifth ward. Then I changed, then dudes tell me, man, I can't join the fifth ward hit squad. I ain't not a side. Changed the name. I changed the name to the Black Giants. And uh, until 1998. When this dude got killed on stars, and after I left, I had that gone since December. This is due to a lot of thought. The Federal North came and threatened the Rico law. Third thing is saying, Mr. John is saying, have you ever heard of Larry Hoover and John Gotti? And I say, what they got to do with me? So they got a, a brand new prison in Colorado up on the ground. They'll never see daylight again. If you don't want to join them, you got to control it like John. I say, sir, I say, just like I started on the end. If somebody can do something that I don't know nothing about, they can dictate my future. My future. I'm through it. So I gave up the gang like all together. And the thing is that these dudes, they would have died for me because they now would have died for them. And my yeah. thing is that I can lead, I, 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 I can lead people in the right way. It ain't, it ain't got to be violent. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been there. It don't take nothing to be violent. It don't take nothing for you to kill me. I need to kill you, uh, fool. You know what I'm saying? It's all that love me, man. What I want to do is stop the kids, the young people, from going to the place that near you done been. Because I don't wish, hey, man. Do you ever feel any type of reservations about trying to reach out to the youngsters? Do you ever think that or people are going to think you're a hypocrite because you did all of that, and now you're talking about helping somebody? Why should the kids look, listen to you? Well, the thing was, the thing was in prison, uh, I got a lot of guys in gangs. Black and Niskins, Hispanics, uh, uh, to get at. You know, some guys I got at that they, they teach to say you can't get blood in, blood out. When they start out with the handling, they let them out. And, and some of them uh, didn't have to get beat up, but they, 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 they accepted the, the ass up to get at. You know what I'm saying? My thing is that I never let none of these dudes in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell him they're a uh, Muslim. I didn't tell him they're a Christian. I told him that God, man. And I told him that uh, now I changed the whole life because I learned that it's a higher deal than us, man. And, 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 and that they're older, estimated they're older 400 billion planets. And this solar system, Nickel, alone. And that's, that Earth is one of the smallest ones. What makes you think that it's older 400 billion and Earth is the only one with life on it? I said, you call it deja vu? You know what I'm saying? You call it dreams? I said, how you know that that wasn't the dread dream and not of the life that we, that we once lived? I, I, I never hear the, a Tina the Reef, which was one of my favorite singers, sing a song, deja vu. Could it be that dream that I once knew? Beautiful song. Deja vu. I keep remembering. I keep remembering Deja Vu. Well, my granddaddy died. And uh, I never saw a UFO. But I, I believe they got UFO. Just I don't, I ain't never, like, like my friend, yesterday was trying to tell my wife and me about why there ain't no God. He said, D, I don't believe nothing I can't see. And I ain't want to say nothing. But like I said, I learned that just because you don't see it, don't mean it ain't true. Let me tell you something that happened to me. Well, you know about this. How my grandfather died, how he used to come back to me, I used to run. And uh, the day so I got locked up, or the, the day so I got locked up, I took little deer around to the courtyard. You know, in the kid, of course, they got, every other, every, after every two rows, they got a field where the kids can play in. So me and little D right there by Greg Street, I'm, I'm, I got a real thick dog, I'm tossing to him, he trying to catch the dog going anyway. He trying to throw the dog to him. So I got my bag 
I'm sitting on the sidewalk at a bus stop in front of the Kennedy Court store, and he's standing not far from me, and he threw the dog. I threw the dog one time. I threw the dog one time. He's standing on the sidewalk. Oh, I threw the dog, and the dog went in the street. I said, come here, D, hold on. The dog went in the street. My son, D, is 23, uh, 21 months old, so I ain't throwing in the dog. It's a real tough dog. I'm just tossing it. He trying to, sometimes he catch it. Sometimes they go out. One time I said, Couldn't it be? The dog rolled across the street. You know how wide Greg Street is? You got two cars going down that way, two can go down that way. Not this car that talked on the east side. The car went all the way past the black top, all the way there, and stopped right there on the car door. A real car. And uh, I said, D, I'm finna go get that dog. I took D, you know, in the middle of the field, they got a light pole. I said, D, stand right here. I'm finna go get Don Lulu. He said, I ain't there. I said, D, I said, Don Lulu. He said, I ain't there. So I jogged across the street. When I reached down to grab the dog, when I raised up, guess what I saw sitting in the seat? My granddaddy that we had there in 76, who I had saw the day before the car rig, and who was the first one I said I had been talking to when the doc asked what I had been doing. I said, I have been talking to my granddaddy. What y'all talking about? I said, I don't know. He did all the time. just listened. And I think about it. I couldn't run the list. I was in the coma. Anyway, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a known killer now, so I ain't scared of dead folks. So I raised up and I saw him sitting there. He looking. He ain't smiling. He's looking. And I started looking. And the car started coming up on the freeway from the bottom. I just stood. I knew my grandma. They all sitting on the porch. My grandma, my son, my son. Ed, Don and Nick, all sitting on the toilet. And then my grandma, he and my grandma, and i saying, don't run for Ali. You heard it when you run something. He come like tell you something that's going to help you and your teeth one day. I said, why he can't just tell you? I, I asked him why he can't tell He said, he can only tell you. So uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear this now. I ain't saw him since the day before the accident. I've been looking at see him. Looking in the hospital on the scene, then see him. Here you go. I get locked up the next day. Anyway, he don't say, he starts smiling. I start smiling. When he don't say nothing, and I see he ain't gonna say nothing, I walk across, I walk slow. So he don't think I'm scared, I ain't scared. I'm nervous as hell though. I'm trying to figure out where this name come from. We buried it in 76 in Paradise North, you know, so I get deep, and to show you how to throw it off I am, my head, I get not, not back toward the street, so the dog ain't going, I don't know. It get dark. I put D in the arm. He's walking on the street. I say, D. I got to the Say, you know what it is with in the car? He said, who's dad? I said, it's our granddaddy. He said, our granddaddy. He said, we ain't going to go talk to us. I said, no, going to talk. He said, why? He said, so. I said, we ain't going to go talk to him. He gets the house. I put him sitting out of the lap. I go in the house, get a dose of something to drink. When I come back out, the car still talks to him. I said, y'all know what it is with that number? So they said, yeah, D said, you said that dad. I said, yeah. My grandmother said, you talk to us. And I ain't talked to him. I told him what happened. He said, it's good. He'll talk to you next time. I got arrested that morning. Never saw him again. To this day. Man. She <laughs> said, she yeah. said, she said, when I got arrested, he came and told me, she came and told me, and he said, I see y'all, y'all get there. I ain't coming today. Say, so never came back. Thank you.